All civilizations crave for a glorious moment, that image of triumph that prevails throughout the ages, that inspires countless generations, and that creates legend. For some, this takes form in bloody battle. For others, it's about spectacularly outsmarting your biggest rivals. Perhaps the most cunning of destruction's famous leaders has traveled far, looking for this opportunity. He insists that he kept a very long and important conversation with the white moon that lights up the sky in this part of the realm. In it, the celestial body told him to search for the grave of Heshton, the heroic leader of the Vanax, a fierce and mystical tribe that defied and resisted the will of the Osiak Empire for decades. He should grind his bones and inhale the resulting powder. It is supposedly stronger than mushrooms and provides the power to see into the future, as well as enhanced bounciness for existing squids. Search the ruins! His bones are here somewhere! She told me so. The grots quickly jump around, riding their pumpkin-shaped mounts, digging randomly with their weapons, and loosening their formation. I found it! A piece of stone archway with an ancient inscription is revealed, half hidden by dying foliage. The Loon King inspects it, his gaze is suddenly reshaped by the big smile of rotting sharp teeth. Finally, the sacred powder! Like with so many other discoveries, this one would not be peaceful. The sound of marching feet floods the valley, coming from the north. The repetitive rhythm and the contrasting silence of every other living creature leave little doubt. The dead are coming! But which ones? In his heart, Skragrot knew this could happen. Mess with the dead, and the dead will mess with you. The flawless discipline of the Bone Reaper movements reflects on Catacross Shield. As they mechanically form wedge-shaped ranks around the grots, he is pleased. You are surrounded! Surrender the traitor's bones! or you and your moles will be wiped out! The shaman approaches the Loon King. There are too many, boss! They blocked away curses! Add them to the count! The dead can't jump! But we can! Just stab him in the knee! The battle tactic is Cunning Maneuver. Skragrot activates Heroic Leadership. The Bone Shaper activates Heroic Leadership. The Squig Boss activates Mycophile's Pouch, Yellow Lurker on the Squig Herd. The Sneaky Snufflers activate Loon Cap Mushrooms on the Squig Herd for plus one attack and five plus ward. The Sneaky Snufflers activate Loon Cap Mushrooms on the Stabas for plus one attack and five plus ward. The Fungoid casts Mystic Shield on the Boing Rots.
Skragrod fails to cast the Hand of Gork. Skragrod casts Arcane Bolt. Skragrod activates Babbling Wand and activates at the double on the squeak herd. The Gits score 5 victory points. The battle tactic is Trample the Defiant. The Bone Tide Nexus fails to activate Punishment of Lethargy. Catacross activates Gnosis Scrollbearer on the Squeak Hoppers. Catacross activates Supreme Lord of the Bone Reaper Legions. Catacross activates Heroic Leadership. The Squig Boss activates Heroic Leadership. The Bone Shaper casts Reinforced Construct, but it is unbound. Arkan casts Bone Tide Shrieker. Arkan casts Curse of Years on the Bongrot, but deals no damage. Arkan casts Mortal Contract on the Squeak Horde. The Mortec Guard activates at the double. The Kavalos activate Unstoppable Advance. Catacross activates Prime Necrophoros and activates Unstoppable Advance on the Kavalos. Skragrot activates Babbling Wand and activates Redeploy on the Starbucks. The Harvester deals 1 damage to the Starbucks. The Kavalos activate Death Rider Wedge. The Kavalos activate Death Rider Wedge. The Kavalos deal 2 damage to the Squeakert using the Unstoppable Charge ability. 
the Kavalos dealed two damage to the Stavas using the Unstoppable Charge ability. The Squig Hoppers activate all out defense. The Kavalos deal 8 damage to the Squig Hoppers and 4 damage to the Squig Herd. The Kavalos activate impenetrable ranks. The Squeaker deals 8 damage to the Kavalos. The Kavalos deal 1 damage to the Boingrots and 6 damage to the Stavas. The Stabas deal 1 damage to the Kavalos. The Squeak Hoppers deal 1 damage to the Kavalos. The Kavalos activate all out defense. The Boingrots deal 6 damage to the Kavalos. Mortal Contract activates and deals 3 damage to the Squig Herd. 3 Squig Hoppers, 8 Stavas and 2 Squig Herds flee to Battleshock, dealing 2 damage to the Kavalos. The Bone Reaper score 5 victory points. The battle tactic is gaining momentum. Skragrod fails to activate heroic leadership. Katakross activates heroic leadership. 
The fungoid shaman activates mouthpiece of Mork. Kragrot dispels the bone tied shrieker. Scragroth casts Fangs of the Bad Moon and deals 4 damage to the Kavalos. Scragroth casts Arcane Bolt, but it is unbound. The Fungoid Shaman casts the Hand of Gork, but it is unbound. The Sneaky Snufflers activate Loon Cap Mushrooms on the Boing Roots for a 5 plus board save. The Sneaky Snufflers activate Loon Cap Mushrooms on the Boing Grots for a 5 plus ward save. The Squig Boss activates Mycophile's Pouch, Yellow Lurker on the Squig Herd. Caracross activates Redeploy on the Mortec Guard. The Squeak Hoppers deal 5 damage to the Kavalos using their Boing 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 ability. The Boing Grot Bounders deal 3 damage to the Kavalos using their Boing Smash ability. The Mortec charge the Boing Grots using the Dread Legion ability. The Mortec Guard activate all out defense. Skragrot activates Babbling Wand and activates No Retreat, No Surrender on the Boingrots. The Boingrots deal 2 damage to the Mortec Guard. Kavalos deal 3 damage to the Squig Boss. The Kavalos activate impenetrable ranks. The Squig Boss finishes off the Kavalos. The Kavalos deals 2 damage to the Squig Horde. The Kavalos activate all out defense. The Squig Herd finishes off the Kavalos.
the Mortec Guard deal 8 damage to the Boingrods. The Boingrods activate all-out attack. The Boingrods deal 5 damage to the Mortec Guard. When Squeak Herd flees, the Boingrods activate Inspiring Presence. The Gloom Spite gets score 5 victory points. The battle tactic is an eye for an eye. The Bone Shaper activates heroic leadership. The Bone Tide Nexus activates punishment of lethargy on the Squeak Hoppers. Cutacross activates Mortark of the Necropolis and Arkan activates Mortark of Sacrament to bring back six Mortec Guard. Cutacross activates Gnosis Scrollbearer on the Squig Hoppers. Cutacross activates Supreme Lord of the Bone Reaper Legions. The Squig Boss fails to activate Heroic Recovery. The Bone Shaper casts Reinforced Constructs on Cutacross. Arkan casts Bone Tide Shrieker. Arkan casts Soul Release. Arkan casts Empower Naderite Weapons, but it is unbound. The Bone Shaper activates Unstoppable Advance on Catacross. Catacross activates Prime Necrophoros and activates Unstoppable Advance on the Harvester. The Cavalos activate Unstoppable Advance. The Harvester deals 2 damage to the Squig Hoppers. Arkan activates Forward to Victory. The Cavalos activate Death Rider Wedge. The Cavalos deal 1 damage to the Boingers using the Unstoppable Charge ability. Arkan activates Roar on the Squig Hoppers. The Harvester fails to activate Stomp. The Cavalos activate Bludgeon. The Boingrots activate No Retreat, No Surrender. Skragrot activates Bubbling Wand and activates All Out Defense on the Boingrots. Cavalos deals 6 damage to the Boingrots and the Harvester brings back one Mortec Guard. The Mortec Guard activate All Out Defense. The Boingrots deal 1 damage to the Mortec Guard.
The Mortec Guard deals 2 damage to the Boingrots and finishes off the other unit of Boingrots. The Harvester heals 1 Mortec Guard. Arkan activates Impenetrable Rex. The Squick Hoppers deal no damage to Harkan. The Harvester deals 8 damage to the Boingrots. The Stabas deal no damage to the Harvester and 1 damage to Catacross. Catacross finishes off the Stabas. The Sneaky Snufflers deal 2 damage to Arkan. Arkan deals 9 damage to those Squick Hoppers, healing his 2 wounds. The Boingrots activate Indomitable Triumph. Two Squick Hoppers flee to Battleshock. The Bone Reaper scores 6 victory points. The battle tactic is gaining momentum. The Bone Shaper activates heroic leadership. The Bone Tithe Nexus activates punishment of lethargy on the Squig Herd. Catacross activates Mortark of the Necropolis, healing his wounds. Catacross activates Endless Duty on the Kavalos. Catacross activates Gnosis Scrollbearer on the Squig Herd. Catacross activates Aviark Spymaster. The Squig Boss fails to activate Heroic Recovery. Skragrot dispels Bone Tide Shrieker. The Bone Shaper casts Reinforced Constructs, but it is unbound. Arkan casts Soul Release. Arkan casts Curse of Years on the Fungoid Shaman, finishing him off. Arkan casts Mortal Contract on the Boingrods. Catacross activates Reform Ranks. The Kavalos activate Reform Ranks. The Harvester deals 1 damage to the Boingrots. The Kavalos deal 3 damage to the Boingrots using their unstoppable charge ability. The Harvester activates Stomp, finishing off the Boingrots. Arkan fails to activate Roar on the Squick Hoppers. The Squick Hoppers activate All Out Defense. The Mortec Guard finish off the Squick Boss and deal 5 damage to the Squick Hoppers. The Squick Hoppers deal no damage to Arkan and Mortec Guard.
cut across deals 9 damage to the squeaker. Arkan activates all out defense. The sneaky snufflers deal 2 damage to Arkan. Arkan deals 4 damage to the Sneaky Snufflers, healing his 2 wounds. Cardacross activates Impenetrable Ranks. The Squeaker deals 5 damage to Catacross. Mortal Contract activates dealing 2 damage to the Squeaker. Scragrot activates Inspiring Presence on the Squeakhoppers. 2 Sneaky Snufflers and 6 Squig Herds flee, dealing 5 damage to Catacross. The Bone Reapers score 6 victory points. Ah!